now let's do the lab so what I will do I will take one server you can take server or you can take the router also and you can configure the DSCP server so I take one router I take another router and then we are going to take one switch I will keep in between here somewhere here switch and I can say I will connect this here and I will connect this here and now again I can take one switch here and then we can take some machine and we can connect this here like this and here you can give the name as a relay because this one is going to send that packet so we are giving relay you can give any name whatever name you want to give so just I am putting the label here and this one we will configure as a DSCP server okay so this is our topology so this machine should get the IP so whatever the IP schema we are planning to use we can write here I am planning to use 192.168.2.12 or I can give 2.1 here 2.0/24 so if we assign the IP here we will assign 2.1 slash 24 this interface and here we can assign like 192.168.1.2 slash 24 and here we are going to assign as 192.168.1.1 slash 24 okay this way and now what we can do here this is the IP schema we are going to use so let's do the configuration so what I will do I will take the notepad and we are going to do the DSCP relay agent lab so here we are going to use the OSPF so many things we are going to use so you need to observe this carefully later I will give you assignments so you need to do this similar lab so watch carefully that one DSCP relay agent lab and how we can configure first router we will configure I will give as a relay configuration so here enable config T host name R1 or you can write relay whatever name you want to give relay if you want to give write relay okay whatever configuration you want to give you can give and then we need to assign this interface this IP this interface this IP so I will write here interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and then IP address 192.168.2.1255.255.255.0 and we will write no shut here then another interface I have 0 by 0 IP address you have 192.168.1.2 255.255.255.0 so what I done just I enable the just I assign the IP address and now you need to remember here you are assigning the IP address this one this one and then you will assign here also IP address this network information should go here so if you just assign the IP address it will not go so what we need to do to send this information to this router you are with me right you can unmute yourself and what we can do because this router know this one and this one but this router don't know so how we can send this information to this router how we can do you know or you don't know if you want to send any route from one router to another router what you will do yeah routing protocol we need to do any routing protocol we need to do so we will use the dynamic routing protocol so we will write router OSP of 1 and then which interface all the interface whatever we have so that interface then IP OSP of 1 area 0 now you can mute your background noise is more coming so after that we can write IP OSP of 1 area 0 so this way we are going to enable the OSPF here and here so that route will go to this router 
okay and now we will go to this router and we are going to configure the some basic configuration but before that one let me paste this configuration inside this router so I will go here I will, I will assign the IP here if you see no error nothing everything is work perfectly after that what we will do we will go for the other router configuration the other router we are calling as a DSCP server so we will write DSCP server configuration so same thing enable config t host name DSCP and then we will write interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 IP address whatever IP we use 192.168.1.1255.255.255.0 and we will write here no shut okay this one we write assign the IP address after that we need to configure the DSCP address that is we are making this router as a DSCP server so how we will configure we will write like this IP DSCP exclude if you, you don't want to use this IP address you will write exclude okay and address and whatever address you don't want to use you can put here 192.168.1.1 so we are not going to use this and here we will start the DSCP configuration so IP DSCP pool we can create any pool I am giving the pool name ABC after that you will write network and give the network ID so first I will assign this network so network ID then the subnet mass after that what is the gateway so gateway you will write as a default default router default router and give the IP of the gateway so gateway who is the gateway 192 1.1 is a gateway this is the gateway okay so I give this IP and after that what we need to do we need to if you want to assign some more thing like DNS server information you can assign this one also DNS server and give whatever DNS server you are using in your company I will give the uh, what we can say uh, this it dot it dot it and if you want to give any domain name we will give domain name abc.com but now we are not going to get this abc.com here because we don't have option here for domain name so this is the DSCP configuration which PC are going to get the IP example if I connect some PC here example I will click uh, keep one PC here one PC here so this PC I will connect so this PC is going to get the IP okay this PC is going to get the IP from this server but you need to have one more pool this pool 192.168.2.1 so you need to configure one more DSCP pool one pool which you configure which we configured just now this one this is for this side only here only this side if this side means this is another side another interface of the router so here you need to use this pool so what we will do we will configure one more pool here same thing we will write same whatever we have here I will copy here I will paste here and here you can give the different name and here you can change the this one we have the 2.1 network and the gateway should be 2.1 network and this remains same if you want to give any different name you can give any different but same thing we can see and also what you need to do you need to enable the OSPF also because this network should learn this network should learn this router so we need to enable OSPF so what we can do we can write here at last router OSPF1 then interface F0 by 0 we have only one interface I will write IP OSPF1 area 0 okay so we will copy and we will paste this one we will go here in the CLI and we will write here no and we will paste here if you see everything work perfectly no error nothing no error is coming everything is okay so now we can consider this one is working fine and we can check the output here okay we can check the output how we can check means we can go here 
and we can go to the desktop and we can wait but still it is working so wait for some time or do the fast forward after that one go here in the IP config click the DSCP so wait for some time it will start working it will not work because this packet will come broadcast packet will come here and it will drop here from this guy broadcast packet will come it will drop here so it will not work so for that purpose we need to configure the IP helper command but here if you see these two computer will, will work because this DSCP server is directly connected here they are directly we don't have any router in between like if this guy want to get any information from here you have the router in between but for these two guys we don't have any router in between directly they are so they will get no issue so if you go here and if you check here they will get the IP if you click here you will get the IP they get the IP here and if you go here also they get the IP here so IP they are getting but if you see the other side after the router they are not getting so what you need to do you need to configure the IP helper command you need to check where you have this router so this router is not getting this router is dropping the broadcast messages from here so we need to convert that broadcast message into unicast and forward so you need to do configuration in this router so that router is a relay so you need to go under this interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 so we will write interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 and then we need to type one command that is simple command just we need to configure here like relay agent so how you are going to configure one command only you need to go under the interface and you need to write IP helper okay so let me write here IP helper IP helper and address and write that command whatever the IP you have IP of which one IP of DSCP server so who is DSCP server this one so this IP you need to put you need to go under this interface and you need to put the IP helper and the give the IP of DSCP server so he is going to convert that broadcast message into unicast and he is going to forward towards the DSCP server so I will copy I will go inside this router and we are going to paste here so I will go here I will paste here okay after that it will start working so now you can go here you can check before it is getting the different IP from the APIPA now it is getting correctly so now uh, all the PC will get the correct IP if you see here also this PC is also going to get the correct IP if you see here also this IP is going to get the correct IP so what we can say we are getting the correct IP here okay and now if you want to ping also you can ping any computer anything whatever the IP you have example this machine is having 1.3 and you can ping from here ping 192.168.1.3 and you can check here it will have the correct IP okay if you see after some time it is going to start working so what issue we face first of all if you have router in between from the client machine and the DSCP server then you have the issue because router is going to drop the broadcast message not only router any layer 3 device because they are going to drop the broadcast message so what we need to do we need to type the IP helper command here and we need to give the DSCP server IP so this is the DSCP server so this IP we need to give to this guy and then only this guy will convert the broadcast message into unicast message and he will forward and when he get back again he will convert the broadcast message in unicast message into broadcast and he will give that to that machine so this way it will work and uh, what you done here you configure the DSCP server to pool in this router if you are confused here no need to worry this one will be separate team they will do that one DSCP server team will be different who is maintaining the server they will do there but this is simple thing if you want to configure in the router how you will configure first you are saying I don't want to use this IP so you will this IP will not come in the pool after that you will write IP DSCP pool and give the name whatever name you want to give then define the network whatever this network you are using and the gateway and the DNS what you want to give domain name what you want to give that's all this side you have one pool you have other side also for that one also you are writing IP DSCP pool you can give any different name so I am giving ABC1 then define the network ID of this network and the subnet mask and the default gateway will be 2.1 this will be the default gateway and whatever DNS you want to put you can put and router OSPF1 and you need to enable here also OSPF so this information will come here 
this information will go there that's all so this is the DSCP relay agent lab okay DSCP relay agent lab you need to remember this one this is simple only with this one we finish the DSCP